there's a lot of Marvel news at the moment that I thought that I would kind of bring together and even though that this is probably days late or years late in the internet world, I kind of really wanted to talk about them and kind of share my thoughts. So we have six up and coming Marvel movies that could suffer from the 2023 writer's strike. Now, if you don't know, at the time of this recording and going on, there was a writer's strike in America, which means that a lot of projects may not get finished. Everything has stopped and, you know, late night talk shows have kind of started to air reruns, etc, etc. There is a ton of stuff going on at the moment. But I wanted to kind of talk about this and a few rumors that are going on and uh, recasting, etc, etc. With potential writer strike looming, Marvel Studios' business could very possibly be impacted with regard to its upcoming MCU movies. The Writers Guild of America is currently attempting to negotiate a new contract with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Failure to reach a deal by midnight May 1st would result in a writer's strike. If a strike were to happen, no Hollywood writers would be permitted to do their job until a new contract is signed and that's going on at the moment so they're saying six mcu um, films can be implicated by the strikes the thunderbolts um i think it'd be kind of cool to see i'm just really interested in i can't remember a name um but i'm really interested in her because she's one of my favorite characters i just can't remember a name florence i think i don't know um the upcoming MCU films, Thunderbolts, uh, focusing on Misfit of Heroes, former villains, is scheduled to kick off its principal photography in June. But even the script is finished. Uh, but even if the script is finished by this point, if the uh, Writers Guild of America strike is still ongoing, a hampered uh, shoot would occur. Another one is Blade. I do kind of like the originals to be fair. Blade has already suffered from numerous production delays since it was or originally announced during San Diego Comic Con of 2019. With the film uh, filming set to begin in late May, a strike would either result in another pushback or force the movie to begin shooting without any of uh, working writers. Given that the film already has a release date, it's quite possible later the avenue would be um, per uh, pursued. Deadpool 3. November 8th, 2024. When was, when's the thing here? Blades, September 6th, and then July 26th. 20, uh, 2024, I thought it said 2014 then. Okay, Deadpool 3. The thousands of fans who don't want Reno, uh, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool 3 to be a negative impact, but if the Writers Guild strikes, however, with the movie filming in May, it's likely nothing they could uh, that they could be done, especially considered that the guild has sent clear messages to its members: don't cross picket lines. Now, I would imagine that if everything has done previously, then you should be able to go and shoot and stuff. I mean, I don't know too much about the Rice Guild of America, so if you know more, then please let me know down below in the comments. But I would imagine that if everything's done, they should be able to start filming and shooting. And you know, I don't know. Again, I'm not too sure. Fantastic Four, February 2025. Dear God. Okay, it's not <laughs> using the old, uh, the old guys there. Uh, the long awaited Fantastic Four reboot might have fans waiting a little longer. A strike would affect the film's shooting schedule, even though it didn't kick off until the early 2024. The screenwriting uh, processes take time, and Marvel Studios surely wants to get the Fantastic Four's debut as good as it possibly can be before cameras roll. If no one is allowed to further develop the script, the thing of films release. Um, date could very well be pushed back now the last one uh, from what i remember and that i've talked about is i think was 100 days so this here i think would take quite some time and i think that they would have a lot but again maybe they have the story already planned they're just gonna push them out anyway uh, the avengers the kang dynasty may 2nd 2025 the, f the fifth film in the Avengers series, the Avengers the Kang Dynasty, would probably suffer the same fate as Fantastic Four during a strike, but it's possible it's far enough out that no harm would uh, come to the screenplay. Now, if that's May 2nd and then that's February, I would say maybe that those two would kind of be linked. And then obviously you've got uh, Secret Wars. I generally thought they didn't have anything written. Okay. So Avengers Secret Wars um, presently isn't slated to arrive until 2026 <clears throat> and could get delayed regardless of a strike. But it's still possible that potential work stoppage on the writer's part could end up playing part in uh, part in said delay. 
Now, this isn't every Marvel Studios uh, film is releasing in the next few years. There are MCU projects that could be spread, uh, the, uh, could be spared the effects of the strike. The, uh, the Marvels is currently in post-production with a November release date. Captain America New World Order is likely close to finishing its shoot. Uh, yeah, so you've got Marvels and stuff like that. Um, will there be actually... Uh, will, okay, so there, we know there is, so we don't really need to kind of work on this one. Because if it was May 1st... It's now May 3rd when I'm recording. So obviously it was posted on the first one. So obviously these are a couple of days. So with this, I think there is, is going to be a thing. I, I don't think a lot of films are going to be kind of like affected a lot. I just think they'll be pushed back. And I think people will be like, oh no. But I generally kind of think that uh, people will be fine with it. You know, take more time. I think that's the, the main case. Don't just rush it out. So another rumor at the moment that hasn't been kind of debunked or anything like this has been that Margot Robbie is eyed for a massive Marvel superhero role. Now, after I kind of saw this, and obviously due to the photo, we can see that she would be probably a very perfect fit for Sue Storm. And now that I see it, I can't unsee it. According to a new rumor, Marvel Studios wants Margot Robbie to play a major MCU hero. While Marvel's interest in Robbie is understandable, the actress is already an established DC star due to her iconic portrayal of Harley Quinn in the 2016 Suicide Squad, and then obviously 20, 20, uh, 2020's Bird of Prey, and then obviously the Suicide Squad 2 in 2021. Now, I would imagine that because I don't think she's going back to the to DC because they're doing a huge, massive reboot and getting rid of a lot of stuff. Not unless this was a, a thing where James Gunn wants to do another Suicide Squad and they're going to have Harley Quinn. You know, obviously Margot Robbie being Harley Quinn. I don't know if this is going to be a thing. Like, I, I don't know if they would say no but i can see it as sue storm i think it would be absolutely fantastic and i'm pretty much on uh, on the ball for it according to the scooper daniel marvel studios recently offered academy award nominating actress margot robbie the role of fantastic force sue storm aka the invisible woman in the marvel cinematic universe if true this does not mean robbie will be cast in the 2025 reboot but it's just as she's been offered the part that she could pass on other actresses reportedly in the consideration for Sue, Sue Storm is Melina Kunis, Jodie Comer, and Alison Williams. I have no idea, apart from Melina Kunis, I have no idea who Jodie Corner or Alison is. Uh, in addition, Adam Driver is rumored to be in talks to play Reed Richards or Mr. Fantastic, and Daniel Richmond previously reported that Marvel offered Paul um, the role of Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch. So, kind of this entire article keeps going on about what would happen is is margot robbie harley quinn and sue storm i generally think that if they're not going to be using any of the, like the past stuff after they do flashpoint in the flash film that you know they could easily get someone else to do it now another one over at dexterto is basically saying the same sort of thing in fact this is, i thought it might just be the direct talking about it but dexterto is basically talking about it um, I'm generally all fine. Like, I can see this, right? Margot Robbie has been offered the role of Sue Storm from Marvel's Fantastic Four. She hasn't said no. Uh, there's no, like, a statement or tweet or anything like that, as far as I know. Um, I'm going to say that, you know, as it says here, we all say, like with all rumors, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, several actresses have been rumored for the role, including Jodie, Daisy, um, Edgar Jones, and Melina Kunis. Uh, Kunis addressed the reports. Uh, in a recent interview with James, oh, oh God, I hate Corden, um, reflecting on how the spectacle has ramped up that she was spotted having lunch with Shakeman. Apparently, if you go to lunch with someone that is in the industry, you start working together, according to the internet. The next day, I was somehow in the Fantastic Four, she said. Now, this is basically going into Melina Kunis, um, you know, breaking her silence on the Fantastic Four uh, casting. Now, I will say this, and this is normally a lot of actors, actresses and that, will say no to what they they uh, to what roles until it, it all comes out um when i kind of saw this and i this is one thing i really don't think it it, it is and when when doing it um is people are, are basically turning around and saying that she's playing the thing no like it one thing is like with switching roles out it wouldn't make sense for ben grimm to be or melina kunas to play the character of the thing it just it it's just really weird like 
I know, uh, it, it, to me, I just don't think switching that one around, it's, it's weird. Because I imagine that, obviously, when... Like, it's got to be like almost the size of the Hulk to fight because that's how we've seen the thing go all the way through. Having that and then just hearing Melina Kunis, I, 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 it doesn't work in my eyes. I, I, I think it'd be really weird. So we don't know. Like, so apparently she has said on that her uh, with the rumors that she is not playing the thing in, in, in Marvel. So yeah. It's just really weird if she did and was just like, yeah, we're going to play it. So our final story is Marvel just recast Miley Cyrus MCU character. Now, when I read this or when I looked into it, I was like, was she in it? Like, was she in a Marvel product? Like, I, I don't remember at all. So apparently Miley Cyrus says, like, uh, Miley Cyrus, we didn't actually spot this one ourselves, but it's since been confirmed that the former Hannah Montana star herself voices the marvel character mainframe in guardians of the galaxy 2 if you're into the film looking for cyrus brief appearance i hope you find it um so yeah i generally thought it was her when i looked at it and i was just like oh okay that's very weird but apparently it's this head thing that's really cool i i don't know why you would want to recast according to <laughs> according to the galaxy gardens of the galaxy volume 3 press release miley cyrus mainframe was from Guardians 2, has been recast in the upcoming film. Um, the pop star lent her talent to be the disembodied voice that played from a helmet back in 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but did not return for 2023. <laughs> According to the official press release of Guardians 3, Miley Cyrus ca character Mainframe, whose Cyrus voice in Guardians 2 post uh, credits, that's probably why I didn't see it, is also side to the role, uh, will now be played by Loki's Tara Strong Volume 3. So, I really did not know know this at all, and I was a bit like, what the hell? Um, it's very weird. So, well done to Tara Strong for being mainframe in in this. Uh, Tara Strong's a double cast in the MCU. Uh, she obviously played the clock in Loki. And yeah, it's just really weird. Like, I would imagine maybe the golden person, that would have been a lot better. But yeah, she, she got recast. So no point rereading re that because you all know she got recast. So there we go. There is the Marvel news that I wanted to talk about. There are rumors, uh, everything like that. I just thought it would be a very interesting topic to talk about. What are your thoughts all on this? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like this sort of content, hit like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Then also, if you want to check out the channel membership, then that would be absolutely grand to help out the channel. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat. Your help does go a long way to support the channel, and if you want to consider helping the channel, then links to my Patreon as well as the channel members are listed below. あらあら。チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。